hey guys good morning so today's video is going to be a um, quick demo slash review on the new Maybelline soft um, matte dream velvet foundation I purchased this from CVS a few days ago um, because I saw the commercial and I was like ooh a new matte foundation, a new drugstore matte foundation. So I absolutely had to try it. I have to admit that this is a good foundation. I, I only wore it once, but the day I wore it, I noticed that there was no, it didn't oxidize, which means that it didn't get like extremely dark once it dried. It's really thick. It's really thick and it's definitely full coverage. As you can see, I suffer from a lot of dark spots on my face. So I do like a medium to full coverage or buildable foundation. So this is definitely it. So if you're looking for something that's um that's thick, that's going to cover up those dark spots on your face, that's going to give you an even um, skin tone complexion, that's full coverage, then this is definitely it. I think that it's definitely worth the $10.49 that I spent for it. So now I'm going to show you guys exactly how So I because this it. is so thick, let me show you how thick it is. The consistency is extremely thick. It doesn't run like the L'Oreal Infallible foundation and a little bit goes a long way I pulled out like a quarter size of this the first time I used it and totally wasted too much product it's extremely thick as you can see it doesn't run like the um like the L'Oreal infallible um matte foundation and it's almost as if it's like a mousse like foundation it's extremely, it's really creamy, and I apply this with a beauty blender. The reason why I use a beauty blender to apply this foundation is because, number one, of how thick it is, and number two, how full coverage it is. So because the beauty blender will soak up some of the project, it will give me a nice full coverage um, application without being too, without being too heavy or, or cakey, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and just dab my finger into it first. Oh gosh, this is so thick. Look at this. And this is what makes it like so worth it because it's nice and thick. It's almost like paint, to be completely honest with you. And I'm just going to dab it on areas on my face. Like I said, you don't need a lot because a little bit goes a long way. I like to be fully covered because of the dark spots on my face. But if you have good, you know, a good complexion going on and whatnot, and you don't suffer from these issues then you can use way less than I'm using right now. I just want to make sure I'm fully covered. Excuse the mirror. I need to go to the eye doctor because I swear my vision is getting worse at this job looking at a computer screen all day. Ugh. And excuse my nails. I have been running around all weekend trying to get these kids together for Easter to make Easter baskets and do dinner with my sister and I didn't get around to getting these claws done. So excuse my messed up nails. Okay, anywho. So now I'm going to take my beauty blender, the butt of my beauty blender, and I am going to just push this into my skin. And the beauty blender is fairly damp. It's not like completely wet because when I wet it, I made sure to squeeze out all of the excess water as well as use a towel. And to be completely honest with you, I got the darkest shade, which is coconut. Um, I probably could have gone lighter, but once I get finished with my foundation routine, the highlight, the console, and everything, it'll blend. This foundation will blend perfectly. But just for a demo, I wanted you guys to see how well this stuff is. Like, and then using the beauty blender makes it even better because I look like you see how you see that coverage. This is pretty cool. I think this is dope for a drugstore foundation. Um, it says dream velvet, which means that when you when it dries, it's not like when it dries, it's not dry. You know what I'm saying? When they say soft matte, they mean soft matte. Meaning that it's not that hard, dry your skin out matte foundation. Which is perfect for me because I have dry skin. Well, I have combination skin. So this works good like in the T-zone throughout the day when my T-zone is getting oily. This found, I found that that one day that I wore it, this foundation actually kept the oiliness at bay. Not completely, but it did a good job of keeping it at bay somewhat. So, But this is a good thing. This is just one layer. 
is definitely buildable. I strongly suggest using the Beauty Blender because, like I said, as you can see with this coverage, it's like this coverage is everything. Like, I don't even, well, I'm not going to say I don't look like the same person, but as you can see, it looks like I have really clear skin. It really evened out my complexion. But one thing that I want you to understand is that what foundation does is foundation does flatten your face. So that's why I go in with a highlight and a contour to bring that dimension back to the face. But the foundation is just to give you an even surface to work with. And this is like bomb. I don't even need, need to add any more. Um, I'm pretty much done with foundation. And now I can move on to the rest of my if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out um, all of my social media pages, Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram, all under Soft Supple and Fierce. And I need to go get my baby ready for daycare and get out of here and go to work. So I'm going to finish getting ready, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Okay? All right. Bye-bye.